Liquid Measures, episode 1.11, and Wally is on huh? his phone. Wally? No, I'm actually on the interwebs letting every one of you know on Farmville, or Facebook. Get yes, off your yes, angry yes. birds, your Farmville. Go to the Liquid Measures page. Click that little like button. Yes. Learn. Like, we need likes. We're dropping knowledge. We need likes. Give like us, us likes. Inflate our egos. We love it. Also, while you're there, check out Wally Palooza. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, I know that guy. Small, I know that guy. It's a small little event. It's, yeah, it's they have like a little, band play, yeah, like a, a couple cool. people come. Yeah, yeah but read about it on Facebook. People drink beer, and that's why yes, we're going to be there. Yes, that's why we're going to be there. We're going to be there because people drink beer at this. I know this Wally guy. He's cool. I can I can hook you up. Yeah, and I've, I've heard there's like a waiting list to get into this Wally Palooza thing. It's just a small event. Yeah, it's a little something. Yeah, you know, something, something. Hey, drink yeah. beer. Just, just drink we're beer. about to. What wouldn't be? Yes. Wouldn't be uh, like mentioned in the local newspapers, like the Daily Times or anything at all. Never. Really? Never, never. It wouldn't have no. made the cover twice no. in a five month span either. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what, what it is. The only way you get on the cover twice in, in a year like that is if you get arrested. So let's do beer now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah we're we're done with the arrested. We're done yeah. with the arrested. I don't, the, the no, arrested don't want to go there again. Done. Yeah. I don't no. want to go with the arrested again. No, no, yeah. no, no. So uh, yeah, we're we're off we're off the arrested. We're now to the. <sighs> Duck rabbit porter. This the, the the label kind of scares me. Duck rabbit. Duck rabbit porter. He's kind of angry. Hey, we said. Here, wait, wait. We said duck what? rabbit. Zoom. Okay. We need zoom. Yeah. Voice zoom. activated zoom. I didn't say one point eleven. Did you say one point eleven? Yes, right to the voice activated zoom. Ready? Zoom. Now once again, what is this? Uh, see, how, see how great that is. Rabbit. See how angry. See how angry that duck rabbit is. He's very angry looking. That kind of scares me. And there's the tail. Look at that. Oh, nice. And the tilt back. The spin. See? Amazing on this set. Watch this. And return to table. No one else has a voice activated. Voice activated. Like activated. That, you? Uh -huh. That's what I'm this is, right there. This is all new to me. I've yet to try this. We're going into this one completely blind. When we did the last episode, we were sitting here. We were out of beer. We're not going to lie. <laughs> we're proud. We were very sad. It happens, and you. Don't act like it hadn't happened to you. Bar Winch Amanda shows up with something we just happened to mention in that episode. Say hi, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we mentioned Duck Rabbit, and the Duck Rabbit appears. So we're happy. We're very happy. So, folks, let's give this a try. I say yeah. folks a lot, don't I? Yes. yes. And like, like you said, you know, sometimes we do our research and we have, you know, we got all this information about these beers. And sometimes Oops. we go into it blind. And the duck rabbit is blind. This is completely blind, has no notes. It's a straight up duck rabbit porter. So, you know, duck rabbit says they're the dark beer guys. We're going to see if they're the dark beer guys. And we're going right. to let them know what we think about it. I'm going to pour a beer as well. I feel like with that name, duck rabbit, I feel like Elmer Fudd is like tiptoeing with a shotgun. <laughs> look look at the duck. I mean, seriously, Jason's got a point He's on angry. that. That is a very... Very angry looking. That was one pissed off duck. Of course, if you know, if somebody rabbit. was hunting my ass, I'd be angry too. I mean, yeah. yeah, true. So let's take an athletic duck no, straight down. That is the duck. Let's see what we got. Oh, That's looking oh. really good so far. Shaking it all out. The cascading of the head. That's what's wonderful. That has a different smell to it. Not a bad smell. It's, smell. it's dark. Um, Black, dark, and yeah. it's got a big head. It's a cola dark. It's a cola dark. It sure is. It really is. It's another opaque. I can't see any light for coming on. Not real high alcohol content. I'm, yeah. guessing, I'm guessing from this, just looking at swirling in the glass. I'm going. I'm going to guess and say probably around six as well. Uh, probably. Uh, Probably close to six, probably yeah. a five point six. Yeah, yeah. I, five and a half, between five and a half and six. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's right there at it. Um, I mean, you can see it's it's still it's still sticking around just a little bit. Yeah. You know, uh, the the head is actually, I mean, staying around for a pretty good while. I mean, I've been moving yeah. it, so the head's staying around for, for pretty decent time. So that's that's kind of it's kind of making me happy. Really, to do that one again? No. 
<laughs> I just wonder. Oh, okay. I mean, this says the dark beer specialist. That's a rather bold statement. So let's put we're, it to the test see. here, guys. Let's, let's smell it. See what we got here. Wally's already with the drinking part. Let's step ahead. That's, that's so. just Wally. Yeah. I mean, you got to know this guy. I get a lot of dark roast in there. Dark roasted malt. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm. That's different. That's different, and I like it. Very carbon. Yeah, Very it carbon. is. Yeah. I was, I was, it, you know, I was kind of noticing that when I when I poured it, I was noticing a little carbonation kind of floating up through there. Mm -hmm. So, well, I tell you, know, Matt Matt is trying to sneak in and try it because it's a porter, and she loves porters. Nothing wrong with it. So. It is different, isn't it? It's different. Yeah, she, she whispers to herself. Yeah. It's different. It's definitely different. Mm -hmm. But it's a good different. I can't put my finger on it. But it's... As you hear the comments going on in the background, we're trying to, trying to decide what's going on with it. It reminds me of Rogue Port. Yeah. It reminds me a lot yeah. of Rogue Port. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. I was trying to, I was trying to remember who it was, but it does, it does taste like the Rogue Port. It's it's a little thinner than I expected. It's um, it um, highly carbonated. Wally apparently likes it very well because it's gone. But <laughs> uh, we we, we can't expect that from Wally. It's all. It is very thin. Um, it's not yeah. thin, it, it, highly it's carbonated. Not, it, it's not staying around very long. It hits my tongue and it it, it slides right back. And it's it's gone very quick. You may be the dark beer specialist, but. I can't give you much above a five and a half on this. It's, it's it's too typical. There's there's nothing special that stands out on this porter that makes me say, "Hey, duck rabbit is better than rogue or uh, Tuckalichi yeah. porter from our local Smoky Mountain brewery here." It's there's just absolutely nothing that stands out from this whatsoever. But it's not bad. It's, it's still a yeah, good beer. It's, it's still a good beer. I mean, you know, well, nothing besides the label. The label stands out. Yeah, I don't think that's definitely. Yeah. Uh, but as far as the beer quality, um, it's a, it's it's average. Yeah, it's just average, mediocre at best. Would I drink it again? Yes. yes. If yeah, someone's it. got it, if you're buying, <laughs> if you're buying it for me, right. remember that. But I would not go on my way to ever have this again. Yeah, Tell yeah me I don't. I don't think I would. You know, I don't. I don't think I would ever just no. straight up. I ain't gonna go looking for it. Yeah, I'm sure. not gonna go out of my way to find it. Absolutely not. And yeah. if you're the dark beer specialist, you need to go back and do your homework. Yeah, because it. You know. Yeah, to me, if if you're calling yourself the dark beer specialist, you really need to up your game. Yeah. Yeah, there needs to be. And I mean, you know, Doug, hey, we're. We're honestly calling you out here. If you're going to be the dark, the dark beer specialist, there needs to be more there than just malted barley. Yeah. There really does. That's that's what I get from this porter is malted, roasted barley. That's that's it. It, it. I can steep barley in a coffee pot, and you know, throw in a, a little yeast, let it sit for a week, and I've got some beer. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm got, not got throwing a wood chunk there. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm not impressed at all. Guys, on, uh, yeah. on signing off, count three. One, two, three, table slot. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, wait. Remember. But there we go. we got to get to this disclaimer because <laughs> yes. Yes. if anybody dies, it's not our fault. It's not us. If you don't like it, it's not our fault. No. Okay. Seriously, folks, drink as possible. You don't get out and drink and drive. Yeah. Designated driver, set your ass at home. Whatever you have to do, do it right. I like beer cause it is good. I drink